In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Calendly function block to let your team members use AI to check availability and schedule meetings with you. Let's get started. First, we need to set up our automation workflow with some user inputs to obtain the date and time someone might be interested in scheduling. To do this, tap the plus icon on the automation canvas and then user input from the drop-down menu. Then, tap the plus icon on the bottom left of the configuration to add your inputs. For this demo, I already have some inputs created, so I'll go ahead and bulk add them in. Next, we'll add our Calendly function block. Let's again add a new block by tapping the plus icon, and this time selecting Run Function. Then, in the Configuration panel, tap on Browse Community Functions. Find the Calendly block from the Functions list and import it into your automation flow. Now that we've added our function block, you'll notice a bunch of fields we'll need to configure in order to get this function running properly. First, we'll need to retrieve our API token from Calendly so that it pulls the correct information from our account. To do this, we'll need to go to our Calendly account page. Note that you can only use this function if you have a Calendly account already set up. Once in Calendly, we'll need to retrieve our token by going to Integrations and Apps, and then API and Connectors. From here, make sure you choose API and Webhooks. For this app, it's important you choose Personal Access Token. Select Get Token Now, then Continue, and give your token a name. For this demo, we'll call it Mind Studio App. Then tap Create Token and copy the token to your clipboard. Now let's go back to Mind Studio and configure the rest of the app. Now in Mind Studio, let's paste our token into the space provided. Next, we'll provide the variable names for the different outputs we get from Calendly. The availability output references your full availability on Calendly, and we'll call that variable availability. The events output references any meetings or events already scheduled on your calendar, and we'll call that events. And last, the scheduling link outputs the link for users to schedule their appointment on Calendly, and we'll give that the name link. Now that our Calendly block is configured, we have to create a send message block to send all this information to the AI and make sure it outputs the proper response. Once again, tap the plus icon to create a new block and select send message from the drop-down menu. For this demo, I've already pre-configured my message, which I'll paste into the message section on the right. But you can see that I've incorporated both my user input variables to extract the date and time, as well as the Calendly variables to make sure the output response includes the correct data from my Calendly account. Now that we've configured our app, let's test it out and see if it works. First, I'll select my date. For this demo, I'll choose Friday, January 12th. And then I'll add my time, in this case, 12 p.m. Pacific. Then we'll tap Next. And there we go. Using the data from Calendly, it's able to tell us that there is no availability at the time we requested. But it has offered us some alternative times and a scheduling link to book one of those times directly on Calendly. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.